And this day in particular, I was wearing these yellow leggings that I'll show to you in a second. And they continued to say, I'm really sorry we have to have this conversation, but um, apparently you're making a few women feel uncomfortable with the leggings that you wear. Welcome back to Child Talk Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Tiki Taki, a woman getting kicked out of the gym for distracting other gym goers. And guess what? It was an all-female gym. <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. Chow time. Even women are calling out other women, guys. This is this is wonderful. Gyms are, are speaking up. Gym owners are speaking up. They're even shaming women for the outfits that they wear, even at an all-female gym. Holy shit, guys, this article is awesome. I have a video that goes with this article. I'm not going to read the article because the video kind of covers everything with this. Let's get to the video. This video is for anyone who is in the gym and the fitness world. I've struggled with body dysmorphia and feeling comfortable in gyms my entire life. And when I found a gym that I felt comfortable in and that I really enjoyed, um, it changed my life. Now, I need your real genuine advice on this because something really, really disappointing happened to me at the last gym I was going to. They actually said something to me that made me feel so uncomfortable that I never wanted to go back there again. So we are gonna talk about why I pulled up this photo and I'll show People telling you that your dress inappropriately made you uncomfortable. This is the world we live in. Women shaming them, making them feel any type of way where it hurts their emotions. Is us attacking them and now they feel uncomfortable and unsafe. I'll show it to you in a moment, but um, basically what happened is the owner of the gym came up to me. Um, this is also a very private owned fitness center. It's all women and um, I really liked that. So the owner comes up to me and they say, hey, listen, uh, we got to have a quick chat. And I'm like, sure, what's going on? And I could sense that something was wrong because the conversation got uncomfortable really quickly. And they said, hey, we gotta have a talk about your dress code. I'm like, my dress code? You know, I wear leggings and a sports bra every day. That's just what I wear. I can't believe that is women's dress every day. Sheer see-through leggings and a sports bra. I see a lot of women wear this out in public as a normal thing. They're wearing gym attire out in public. I don't even know if they even went to the gym that day or not. That's how crazy women get to wear whatever they want. And then we tell them, you look a little risque. It's our fault. We're misogynistic. We're the assholes. We're the insecure motherfuckers. And this day in particular, I was wearing these yellow leggings that I'll show to you in a second. And they continued to say, I'm really sorry we have to have this conversation, but um, apparently you're making a few women feel uncomfortable with the leggings that you wear. There's so many comments on my gym video of other women feeling this way. They feel just as bad and as uncomfortable when they see women coming to the gym wearing like booty shorts and a, a, a small bra. Not everybody wants to see that shit. And again, a lot of comments of women defending men saying, yeah, I go to the gym and I see a lot of women trying to trap men and call them creeps. Just work out, ladies. That's all men really care about. I mean, yeah, we like eye candy here and there, but we're not there to harass anybody. My initial reaction is confusion and shock. Um, and then it was more of like embarrassment. It should be. Um, exactly. That's what shame does. Make you feel embarrassed. So you stop doing it. God, it seems to work. I almost felt like shame, even though I shouldn't. And oh, I said, Jesus. how am I making women feel uncomfortable here? This is supposed to be like a safe space for us. No judgment. And, you know, I wasn't wearing anything that was inappropriate. They're like, yeah, I don't know. They're, you know, a few women more than. Yeah, that's how far society has gone. That they don't see any issues or any inappropriateness of what they're wearing. It's funny because back in the 90s when I was growing up, the women that wore these were street walkers. The only women that wore this type of outfit out in public were street walkers. 
Congratulations, ladies. Your 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 costumes now are streetwalker costumes. And you think men don't feel a way about it or men don't think that's kind of shameful. Juan came up to me and said that, uh, you know, the leggings that you wear are, you know, distracting and um, also offensive. I was like, offensive? You know, when I... Women using the same women logic against other women. It's hilarious. <laughs> Think of like clothing that is offensive. I mean, if I was walking around in a thong or something, maybe I could understand. Now I'm going to I'm going to show you the pants that I was wearing. So, OK, so if you were walking around in a thong or you were walking around in that. OK, from what I've been seeing at gyms, women that wear this don't actually wear any goddamn underwear. I'm almost 100% positive most women that are wearing this type of outfit don't have any type of underwear under, right? So this is technically even worse than a thong because you're not wearing anything. It's sheer tight p clothing that uh, like absorbs everything. Like, what the fuck, ladies? Oh, these are the pants. I have them in multiple colors. They are bright. Um, you know, my assets do maybe stand out more, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with this. Why, why am I being shamed by this? Especially for a women's gym. I really want your opinion. Um, if you are an owner of a gym, I would love to hear an explanation on why this would be offensive. Or if you are a gym goer or another. You don't need to be a gym goer to, to tell you that it's offensive for some people. It's offensive for people outside of the gym. They just don't say it. Most people don't say anything when they see shit like that. Why? Because you're a nobody. Nobody tells nobody's things that they're doing wrong because they don't care. They just see you as a slut, a whore, you know, a sugar baby, you know, kind of thing. And that's what you're betraying with the type of clothes you wear. Yes, you might not be that type of person. We're not saying all women are, but, you know, if you're wearing a costume, it's hard to judge outside of the costume. Other woman, would my pants offend you? And now I feel self-conscious all over again. Comment below, guys. Look at this outfit. Is she, does it even look like she's even wearing anything? There's definitely no panties that you can really see. And there's no panty lines or anything. It is a sheer nude colored short shorts that she's wearing and a very like small sports bra. Of course, this is distracting. Of course, people are going to feel a way about this, men or women. Hi guys, come watch this video I put together of me today when I was trying to train, but I had creeps staring at me, so I was really put off my workout. What's absolutely crazy about this video is that no one is staring at me. In fact, the gym is completely empty and I'm here alone purely to film this video to put on social media and complain about no matter how you're dressed in the gym, there's always creeps trying to see this pussy fat. I know I get my fart box out on the gram and I have an OnlyFans where I finger blast myself with a medium sized cucumber, but it's absolutely unacceptable when someone breathes or looks in my direction. These men need to be stopped. See you next time oh i love her content it's so hilarious she's right i do see a lot of videos of women say look at that creep and we're like we don't see anybody even around you well, what creep are you talking about that man needs to mind his own business that handsome man <laughs> needs to mind his own that handsome man with those big, beautiful biceps, <laughs> he's to mind his own business. <laughs> this is why it's so fun about the gym, guys. We get to make light of things. We get to have fun. No one's there to really like make other people seem out like creeps or weak. Imagine being a guy seeing this as we walk by. You would definitely be distracted because. She's going the wrong way. Creepy guys at the gym be like. Oh yes, we're the creepy ones. There's a perfectly, you know, a perfect chair for you to sit on. So your ass kind of gets covered to do this exercise. But you chose to bend over and point your ass out and use the machine the opposite way. And then when people look, they're going to be creeps. 
the fuck? I say whatever I want. Yeah, I do whatever I want. I kind of like money for fun. You know, it came to my attention. A lot of girls are wondering why they have creeps staring at them in the gym. But it may have something to do with the fact you're dressed like a stripper. And just to put the cherry on top, half these girls have the biggest ego. It's where they think every guy in a three-mile radius is staring at them. I can pretty true? much assure you, this so-called gym creep right here is uh, just trying to do his workout. <laughs> he doesn't even know you exist. He doesn't. <laughs> That was like, what, not Hi. even a second? Jim Rat here of over 20 years now, and I don't understand what's disrespectful about this video. All I see is two people walking, minding their own business, trying to get to their next workout. You know what I do find disrespectful, though? The fact that you posted this entitled video acting as if just because you're filming that everybody else has stopped what they're doing just for you. Yep. I'm sorry. You don't own the gym. It's nobody's job to care about what you're doing or your video. And what's the big deal anyway? You're filming yourself stretching. You can eat. It was literally like a second of. You could have cut that out if you really wanted to. Or just leave it. it no one's going to say, well, fuck. Why was there a quick second of some guys walking up by? No one's going to care. Easily edit them out or just leave them in. Nobody watching is going to care. Exactly. But hey, if you want to film somewhere where no one's going to walk through your video and you can do as you please, build a home gym, train there. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. Yeah. I love Joey Swoles.